motherhood is really a gift from God. And so this morning when we, when we are celebrating motherhood, we are, we are celebrating biological mothers, spiritual mothers, all those mothers in whom God has just put it in your hearts to nurture children. Well, let me say to the biological mothers first, if God ever opened your womb to be a child, right now where you are, stop and just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of being able to carry a child. Not everyone is chosen for this. I don't have any biological children of my own, but God has put it in my heart to nurture and mentor many children in the context of school, church, and community. And I'm grateful to him for that heart. Let me just share briefly the fact that God is the one who gives conception, and he is the one who also puts the desire to nurture children in us. There are two scriptures that have guided me, and I'm speaking to a mother this morning. You may have been trying to conceive natural children, and you, you find that you can't. Trust God. Relax. He knows best. Let me say that no conception happens unless God allows it. Ruth, there are many scriptures that speak to this, but I'm just going to share two with you, mothers who are watching, and the entire family as well. Uh, Ruth 4 verse 13. So Boaz took Ruth, and she was his wife. And when he went in unto her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bare a son. That was one scripture that settled me many, many years ago. Unless God gives a womb conception, there's no conception. And it doesn't matter how that child comes into the world. God had to order that child. So you need to just give God a praise for your children. And also this one, this one, this scripture was blown up in my spirit the day I went um, to a funeral of someone from my school and the minister was ministering the scripture and it just upped in my spirit. Genesis 4 verse 1. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Eve, the mother, the first mother, she knew instinctively by, by God breathing in her divine inspiration that she had gotten a man from the Lord. So mothers, I want you right where you are now to say to yourself, say in your heart, I got a child, a boy or girl, I got a child from the Lord. Mother Eve knew that. We need to start celebrating children, natural, spiritual, or biological as gifts from the Lord. And when we do that, we will become faithful stewards because we will have to give an account for how we raise our children. And God wants us to raise them so that they can find the plan of God that he himself ordered for their lives. And so he's calling for love, for forgiveness, for nurture. But the greatest gift that you can give to a child is to direct them to find God and to find their own purpose in life, purpose according to that which God has ordered. And therefore, to do that, you must be aligned to God yourself. And so if you are watching and you're an unsaved mother or a mother who has backslidden, this today, Mother's Day, the best thing you can do to God, who, who himself as an expression of motherhood, he's called El Shaddai, he's called the many-breasted one. He is also one who nurtures. The best gift you can give to him today is to surrender your life completely to him and be an example, a pattern of good work so your children can follow. Well, today I celebrate on behalf of me and my siblings, all seven of us, my precious mommy, Mrs. Myrtle Williams, Evangelist Myrtle Hyacinth Williams. What a gift. She told me I was born on a Sunday. Wow. And that her heart was just so excited when I was born to her, right? I was the first one to bless her womb and she was so excited when I came into this world. But mommy, I want to thank you. Mama, I want to thank you for your example, your correction, your example, your love, 
just everything we did to help to mold and shape my life. My mother is a woman of prayer. And guess what? There are certain times a day, you know, she is on her knees in her room. And you know, throughout the day, you will hear her even calling your name. So she is one who's given to prayer and examples. And you can just, just say, Mama, I'm going through this. And she is going to talk to the Lord. And I want to thank you, Mama, for the example that you have been to us. You see, since COVID, the very first day of COVID, she said, let's get on our knees. And so she has been having a prayer meeting every single day night since COVID and there are so many miracles, so many salvations, so many aligning of our family inside the will of God that is coming out of that prayer meeting. Mama, we love you and thank you for even imparting in us that passion for prayer because you have been leading by example. Mama Williams, we love you. I have many, many spiritual mothers around the world, many, many, um, that I would love to give that. Many mothers, trust me, I've always been one who has attracted some of the world's best mothers who just nurture. I want to just shout out this morning, Apostle Dr. Mary Banks, one of my spiritual mothers, who I love very much. Uh, Mother Hazel Cidial, so many mothers. God bless you, um, Mrs. Lacey, so many mothers. Whoa, Mrs. Dorothy Walsh, my mother-in-law. Oh, Lord, I've been blessed. So mothers, have a very good day. And may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and give you his peace. God bless you.